the price increase, trust me, I feel great. It's a, it's a great move. Um, it's long in coming and long overdue. And I think the taxi men deserve that. Tell us about the challenges that you have been having over the past 15 years as it relates to gas and, you know, getting parts and paying permits. Well, first of all, I would say, in the last couple of years, taxi men were paying excess amount of taxes. And that is one of the factors that we have to deal with first of all, because we're paying taxes on gas every time we, we, buy, we purchase gas, and we're also paying taxes on parts and every other thing. So the taxes is the biggest challenge that we face. So the difficulty within the taxi arena, for instance, I won't break it down for you. In, when they had a uh, price increase on transport uh, board, the 350, taxis were transport, transporting four persons to Harbor Road or the hospital for $10. Why, the, why the, the bus service was $14. So there was an advantage there, right? And you're going directly to your, your destination. When outside is hot, they got air conditioned. So they, that, that was one of the factors that we have to deal with. Okay. So how, how, how you all were managing back then? <laughs> well, <laughs> well it, the whole factor is that you, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta work with what you got. You, you gotta work with what you got. But you wanna give Thumbs up to the minister to come in to our aid so fast and helping us in such a short time. Because we need it. We need it. Be as simple as it looks for some household that believe that taxi work is just about getting in the taxi and getting out at a destination. It takes a lot more. It's a concentration with taxis. We have to concentrate by taking you to your destination. Yes, you might have a few guys who just believe it's just about getting in a taxi and driving it. But there are people who operate a taxi all year round as a business and a service. You have, um, in terms of, um, whenever you get in a taxi, it starts with, first of all, it starts with, with, with the morning session where you have to purchase gasoline. That's where you start. So you start at a loss, right there in before you can start working. Then um, you, 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 you deal with parts, you deal with the concentration, you deal with the air conditioning, you deal with all of these things that comes into taxi work. So it's just, just about getting in a taxi and driving. That's what a lot of people believe and think that is what it is, but that's not what it really is. This is um, in a step in the right direction, because even some part of the world you go, um, you hear people talk about Barbados tax, um, taxi rates, and it's very, very low. It's one of the lowest rates in the world. For instance, the people at the airport, we were complaining for so long at the airport, they were like, um, $31 in, in to a destination and, and, and $26 and we still want to know where 26 and 31 come from. <laughs> How we could get a 26 and, 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 and 31, why not 25 or 30 or 40, just run it off 35, right? So, and not only that, think about it, a person at a job site, once they're on the job, they get paid, whether it's $10 an hour, $8 an hour, but a taxi guy will sit down there and wait for two hours, three hours before they can get a job, right? So think about it. You're sitting down there for three hours, waiting to get a job, right? So all that is time factoring, right? So I believe at this present moment, this move is a perfect move for us, especially the guys who are working at the airport. I, I, my heart really goes out to them because they were suffering for a long time.